When do you want to see Haskins? When he's ready. That's I, nebulous. I, <laughs> I, I trust the coaches. I, I totally trust them. They see him every day. They're in the meeting would room with him. Would you be upset? I know your answer. But would you be upset if you don't see him all year? I mean, if we don't see him all year, that means that we probably are doing okay. So, no. I, I, I'm not, I don't care about the – honestly, I don't, I'm not invested in any one player like I was with Robert, like in 2012. I just want the team to do well. But when you draft a guy in the first round, you expect to see him on the field – Definitely in year one. You look at last year, the quarterbacks drafted in the first round. So Darnold, I believe, played from week one on. I believe that's correct. Baker Mayfield came in fairly early. Um, Josh Allen, who they said was going to sit a whole year, came in very early in the season. Josh Rosen played the majority of the games. They all got work. Lamar Jackson came in. He had Mm -hmm. an established Super Bowl winning veteran ahead of him. He came in. Arnold started 13. Forward. Okay, so it was 13. Yeah, but, but I just they don't, all played the majority of the games. I just don't care about that. I only I don't care about that stuff. I know that quarterbacks can play right away and have success. They can also sit a year or two and have success. So I, I don't care about that. I trust the coaching staff when they think he's ready or when they got nothing else, they'll put him out there. But if he doesn't play this year, the Redskins are kind of in this yeah, I mean, all year long at Keenum a minimum. and or Colt, if he gets healthy, are doing relatively yeah. well, and they're in the mix. Gruden was asked, what does Haskins have to do to become the starter? Here's Jay Gruden. Well, he's a young there. player, you know, obviously, and, and uh, just learning the system for the first time. You know, Case has been in some pro systems before, played in games, 44 games, I believe, as a starter, and been to the playoffs. Uh, the experience factor is, is something that, uh, you really lean upon, and then of course Case has been productive in practice and in some of the games. So, uh, but as far as Dwayne's concerned, I think he just got to continue to work and get these reps and, and uh, mental reps, physical reps, and just continue to build on his performance day after day. It won't hurt him at all to to wait. Well, however long it is, Stop. three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, it won't hurt his development at all. It could hurt his development, I'd argue, if you threw him out there a little prematurely. Hopefully, he hit and he's never looking back. Gruden's going with more of a known quantity to start. Keenum's got 30 starts in the past two seasons. Dwayne Haskins has starts against Purdue yeah. and <laughs> Illinois. He's just, and he's just wrong. Okay? He's wrong. He's just talented. Just doesn't have a lot on the resume. He should have a point. loss against Maryland, should by have the a way. Big, big, fat one of these against the Terps. Yeah. A big L. No, he's he's got a bright future. I think he's got a really bright future. I so, think let's, so too. Let's just manage it carefully. I wouldn't hold him back too long. I just manage I it carefully. Hold him back too long. I just manage it carefully. There's no rush. Let's play the bum journeyman. All right, who has been in the playoffs. Let's see what he can do. And if he falters and everyone's disgusted, then he'll go ahead, put the kid in. But I'd wait. But if they're two and five, let's say, depends how he's playing. I don't want to hear well. We still have, we're still in the playoff picture, <laughs> right? I don't or think you'll hear that. Five, I think the most you play him the rest of the way. I think the most think realistic that. scenario is if the Redskins limp out to like a one and four start, toss him the keys for the, the game against the Dolphins on the road. Right. We're all just assuming that here, but the defense is as good as advertised, and Geis is as good as advertised, and you know I think some of these young receivers are actually pretty good, and they can scheme around it, and they win a few close games. It might not be the cataclysmic start that we're all assuming. It, it could be two and be. two or, you know, maybe three and two or something. You know, steal a game or two. It happens. It's possible. There are upsets all and the I time. I know that we can update our predictions. Let me look at the damn I looked at our predictions. You have them at seven and nine. That's the most optimistic I'll junkie. give you the first Case six. Case has them at four. Here's six and ten. Obviously, at the Eagles, I need week to look one. at it. I, you saying it is that's how my brain works. I need to look at it. Go ahead. You need to process it. I need to look at it. <laughs> it's yeah. the visual. But you could say it for our audience. Home to the Cowboys, that's the home opener on September 15th. Home to the Bears, so back to back home games for the first three. On the road against the Giants in week four. Home to the Patriots in week five. At the Dolphins, week six. Well, here's the thing. All right, so you know, and I don't care what anybody says, Tom Brady could be 100. They're going to lose the Patriots every single time. So I'm just, that's mm-hmm. a guaranteed loser. Until proven otherwise, that's a guaranteed loser. So that one's a loss. I think all the others were dogs, except for Miami. But 
you know, the Cowboys is dependent well, on Zeke. I will be shocked if we beat Philly. Like, well, let's the, say we play a close game and they're you win nine-point dogs in Philly. They're one of the biggest underdogs on the board. Right, there's no one. respect for the Redskins. But what what if they play up tight? It's a it's a NFC East matchup. They could. And then you, you kick a field goal like to win a bit. Are we going to be really shocked? No, no you can shocked. make an argument, too. Carson Wentz hasn't played in the preseason. I would personally be kind of shocked if the Redskins went into Philly in week one and, I don't think and pulled an upset. I would be shocked. I don't think they're going to be Personally. that that much better than us. I mean, maybe they'd be two or three wins better. But Who, the Eagles? Yeah, two or three wins better. So if See, we win, some people expect them to be eleven or twelve win team. Okay, so if we win, if we win six or seven, and they win nine or ten, I mean, I don't know. It's not like it's not like it's a two win team versus a twelve win team. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's that huge of a chasm. So I mean, I think you could play Philly close. Maybe you steal it. I mean, I, I got them losing, but I don't think it's. Ridiculous to think maybe they could win by a field goal. I think they certainly could win one of the first Dallas, two games. Dallas, again, another one. I think they could win one of the first two games. They'll be dogs in both. I think they would benefit if Zeke's not there for the Cowboys. I mean, for who sure. knows what's going to happen. If, if Zeke's not there, they could definitely beat the Cowboys at home. And look, it's the NFL. Teams rise up. Maybe we are going to all be surprised that a team rises up. I heard that, uh, I mentioned this before, out of eight division winners, from like two years ago, only three ended up winning the division last year. So that tells you five teams. And if you take away the Patriots who win every year, it's five out of seven. There's largely this parity in the league. Everyone's pretty close to each other for the, for the most part. We've seen it time and time again, year after year. How many times do we bet on these overwhelming favorites? We put our whole nut on it and we go bust out. But by the way, it's it happened it, a few times. It happens every year. <laughs> I get what I you're saying. Finally, every year I it happens. I bet on again. I get what you're saying about if Haskins doesn't play this year, doesn't it means hurt that they're him. Having, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt him at all. I would want to see at least eight starts out of Dwayne Haskins if I draft him in the first round. I really would. So if the Skins go nine and seven, let's say they shock people with, and go nine and seven, and they. They get a wild card game and lose the first round. You're disappointed they didn't play Haskins? Because it kind of goes back to what Gruden said. Gruden is saying he's starting Keenum because he has more experience. How does Haskins get experience without playing? Well, experience with play. the system. You get experience with the system. You got to play to get experience. I don't know. I, I'm a little more old school. I'm okay with him sitting and learning. It's okay. I think you can learn sitting. You learn but practicing for a year. Practice helps. It matters. And long term, if this team's going to go anywhere, it's not with Case Keenum at quarterback. It's with Dwayne Haskins. And it's probably not going to be this year. It's going to be two years down the road or three years down the I road. I said a lot during so this job. Case Keenum is a stopgap. There's no doubt. <laughs> right. Case Keenum is 100% a, a oh, stopgap. Yeah. Yeah. Stop gap. All right, let's go to Aaron in Culpepper. Aaron, what's up, man? You're all the junks. Hey, junks. Thanks for taking my call. I love the show. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a Chiefs fan, and I think I got a little interesting take on this. Um, watching Haskins and having watched Mahomes, they were a lot kind of the same in college. Big boys can can fling the ball downfield. And honestly, I think no matter what happens with the Skins this year, they just need to let Haskins sit. He's got, he's got decent veterans in front of him. Learn the speed of the game. You know, this isn't college. Sit back. He's got a good coach, that good offensive coach minded, and just learn the game. Don't risk, you know, something like uh, some of these other guys like Vince Young. Just let him sit and learn the game. Yeah, it didn't hurt him at all. It didn't hurt no, him. It didn't you, hurt Mahomes. No, Mahomes sat behind Alex. Didn't hurt Smith. him, but you it know, hurt Smith the team. Still there. I read an analytical uh, argument that they should have played Mahomes if you just took even like even if you took Mahomes' numbers and chopped them by like twenty five percent, it would have been better than playing uh, Alex Smith. They had a good year that year. Yeah, maybe. Do you think Mahomes is going to lead him to a Super Bowl as a rookie? I mean, it's very very unlikely. Probably not, but maybe yeah. they would have gone further in the playoffs. Seems to work out pretty well for them. Let's go to Andre in Manassas. Andre, what's up? You're on with the junks. Hey, gentlemen. Good morning. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm okay with this. I don't think Haskins did anything to earn the starting position. I think he did have a shot, but he didn't do anything to earn it. Um, my biggest concern with the team going forward is the fact that I believe Gruden is on his last year. There's a, what Gruden wants and needs is different than what the team wants and needs right now. And I can easily see, you know, if the the team is struggling, maybe not bad. You know, there's two and five and there's two and five. There's two and five where the team, um, you know, special teams let us down, the defense lets us down, doesn't there the quarterback, or you know, the quarterback lets us down. And that's the other two and five scenario 
But I think ultimately, you know, if ownership and management, you know, the, the, the ticket sales are down, fans aren't showing up, and they want to spark, then I can see them overruling the coach and play that guy. And to me, that's what I'm going to be looking for this year. You know, what's going to happen? Is, is Gruden going to be fighting for his job, or is Gruden not going to have a chance to keep his job because ownership wants to see this guy play? Yep. yep. Thank you, Andre. Appreciate it. Well, he's definitely so, battling for his job. He's in year six. But I think, doesn't he have another year after this? He signed a two-year extension. Yes. Yeah, so this is not the last year of his contract. Everyone just assumes it is. They're just assuming if you don't make the play. he signed the extension after his third year. He, he did in 2017, he signed one. A two-year extension. But I think he still had like two years left or something. But it might be like an option year. I don't know. Doesn't he matter. signed through 2020. Yeah. 